Hello, my darlings. Happy Festa to you all. And welcome back to Let's Build the World. That was weird. That was a very weird intro. Hello, I'm back. But for goodness sake. Now, this video is going to be a bit of a mess today. Because yesterday, my Ethernet cable... Ethernet? Ethernet cable gave up, gave up the ghost. Gave up the ghost and broke and I couldn't record anything. Nor stream. Because I need direct internet to my office, which is at the back of my house. And I couldn't... I couldn't do anything. Now, I was recording. I was recording at the time that this all went on. Um, so what you're going to be getting now is a bit of footage from me yesterday where I was um, making the Cave of Wonders where they go and get baptised into the way of the fesh. <laughs> what is this sentence? I have no idea. Um, you're going to see a little bit of that and then what we're going to do is carry on today and go and probably furnish the juicing stations so or the juicing room where they make all of their um drinks and stuff from all of the nectars and stuff that they grow we're gonna make that we're gonna make that today as well and then for the final part next week what we're gonna do is come back and just tie everything together we've still got a laboratory to do which we'll probably do that as well and then i want to do a little bit of gameplay just a tiny bit just so you guys can see how this castle works with this cult um, that is not a cult, thank you. Um, yeah, just so you can see the in gameplay how it all works. And we'll just have a little bit of a laugh for like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to flop over now. It's going to be weird because I'm going to be in a different top. My hair hasn't been cut like it has now. Um, and then we'll come back to uh, today and carry on with the juicing station. So without further ado, let's flop on over and go and see to yesterday's me. So here we are, my darlings. We are down in the dark, dingy and dangerous basement of Brindleton Isle Castle. Um, I've made a start on the floor plan. I think this is going to be the... What was that? What was that noise? I think this is going to be the juice fizzing room. This is going to be the laboratory. Um, this is going to be a secret squirrel room here that I'm not going to do just yet until the save file's out. And this is going to be the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. No idea what I'm going to call it. So it looks a bit bare at the minute. I tried a rock formation in here using a rock from the My Wedding Stories pack. That is still broken, by the way. Just letting you know. Um, and it was. I tried to use this one. I tried to use this one because it's got that little, like... I don't know, curve around it. And I actually sized it down as well. Sized it down twice, I think. Um, but it just wouldn't fit in here. It wouldn't fit in here. I then tried to drag this out a little bit. I'm wondering if I could do it just a couple before it starts to change the outside shape. Because it changed all the outside shape. Outside shape, that's a very hard thing to say, of this pond out here. And um, it it's not doing it now. And this size is quite a bit better, actually. So I think I'm going to do that. So let's... um. Just whiffle it a couple of moments. Nope, no changeage out there. No, nope, no changeage, no changeage. So we're going to try and do this together. We're going to try and do this together. I think all of these rocks are just a little bit too large. They really are. So let me pull out some lovely rocks that I just think would work well in here. Um, and we'll start caving this area up. I'm going to put some stairs down from this level as well. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to do it. Um, and we're just going to make this look very spooky jokey. Okay, so I think, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Journey to Batu is going to save this cave. I said what I said, you know? I absolutely said what I said. I think these rock formations were just matching with the vibe that I want to kind of come across here. One of you guys said to use the kind of like the cave sort of door from Island Living. I tried that. I did try that um, earlier and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. But again, thank you for all of your ideas. I really appreciate them. I very much do. But these these formations just, I don't know. There's just there's something a bit strange about them. And we're all about strange with this build. We really are. Some of them are a little bit too big. <laughs> so we can't really use them. But I'm thinking of layering these on top of each other and hopefully we'll be able to make something work from this and this is going to be a lot of like wasted well not wasted time but a lot of 
time just layering up rock upon rock but that is the formation that we want so that's what we're going to do i'm going to try and make this look na as natural as possible as well um so let's do it let's do it together you know not all of it because it would be very dull for you it really will but i just think that kind of like rock face it matches in well with this i'm going to leave enough space here as well to get some stairs down i'm also let's do that now why we're here change the color of the flooring down here so it kind of settles in a little bit better yes and i'm also going to mix some coral and stuff in with this rock i just think that would look lovely i did try the island living rock with all like, the coral and stuff in and it's just not the right color for here i want this like sandy tone down here for some reason so that is what i'm gonna do that is what i'm gonna do um how are you how are you i hope you're all all right i really do um i had a i'm gonna say this now I had a message off of somebody on Instagram. Um, somebody who's struggling at the minute with coming to terms with their sexuality. Do not worry, I will not say your name at all. Don't you worry. Um, um, and let me just say that this little bit of advice to you. I don't answer my DMs in Instagram. Um, uh, just a bet, just a thing. I'm just, that's just my kind of like private kind of life, you know. But I just want to say everything's gonna be all right and i think you know who you are when i'm talking um try and find someone you can confide in my love try and find somebody that you can confide in um and i hope things get better for you and please let me know how it get how it does i won't answer on instagram but trust me i do always read my instagram messages uh, i just wanted to say that because i didn't have any point where i could contact you and i know i'm saying it out loud to everybody here but I'm not giving away any names or anything. Um, just know that um, um, you're loved. You're part of a community, you know? Part of a community. And you do have the option of having a chosen family, my love. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Um, and I hope you don't mind me saying it here um, without saying your name, obviously. But I appreciate your message. I really do. It, it very much touched me. It did. Because I was in that position before. Um, so I know how hard it is. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say that, my dear. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> but it will. Everything will be all right. I like that. I do like that. I think what I'm imagining it with the coral and stuff in here, I think that will really work. I've got a loose hair on my face. Get off. Um, I think that will really work. So let me layer up the rest of this room and then we'll get back to it and we'll start putting in some more detail. Oh, wow, well, that was a bit tedious. That was a bit tedious, but I like it. I do like the vibe of those rocks in here. We'll have some moody lighting as well. I've lit everything with saucer lights at the minute down here, so it's the wrong lighting that I want. But I think that's going to be a vibe. I'm kind of here for that. Anyway, I need to get... We need to get an entrance now. So we need to get a little... I'm probably going to do a little, like, platform moment, I think. I think we'll do a little platform moment, like, here um it probably doesn't even need to be that thick but we do like it thick shut up shut up shut up <laughs> Aiden you always have to ruin everything you really do <laughs> um I'm thinking of doing that and then maybe adding in some pillars down here that could be cool actually can we add spandrels down here at this height I don't think we can I've got a funny I've got a funny little feeling but for some reason, I don't think we can add a spandrel. But we're going to try. We're going to try. And if we can, we will. We will. Um, No, we can't. Okay. Oh, what about if I go down? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, it's going to get rid of me rocks. <gasps> Not if I do this, though. Not if I put on my deletion protection. Um, There we go. Let's see if that would work. And then flop you there. And then my rocks stay where they are. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Uh, no, I do like that. But if we got like a, a grey version of that? No. But I do like that detail on it. Because it almost reminds me of the sea for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I'm unsure about that one. No, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. But I've just changed the colour of the pillars. The pillars. Um, I just think the pillars would work out a lot better. Uh, in that tone because it kind of just matches in with the, the brown from this a little bit more so that's what we're going to do that is what we're going to do i'm going to flop a bit more of these in hopefully we can get stairs down here without it messing up but we are going to try 
And I'm probably just going to bring that stone out here so it just kind of carries on from there. Okay, now stair-wise. Probably want to do a stone stair, to be honest. Um, In a brun. In a brun. Oh, I didn't realise it goes around that way. Oh, it doesn't want to go there, though. Look at the bloody size of them. Look at the fucking size of them. I think I need to, like, maybe twirl it. What? Twirl? Caspian loves a twirl. <laughs> sure, Shaden. Now is not the time for twirling Caspians. Um, If I did that, do I need to get rid of that? Let me just see. I mean, that's not giving me a vibe of anything. Uh, uh, I think it needs to be like a see-through stair. I think it needs to be like a see-through stair. So I'm just going to turn that off the minute. <gasps> Oh, I thought my things got deleted then. I'm just going to turn that off the minute. I'm going to redig this and see what I can do. I think I need a little bit of off-cam time. Okay. I'm kind of happy with how that turned out. I think it looks quite cool. I do think it looks quite cool. I think we need effects and stuff in here. Now, I do want... Hopefully, you guys will have to let me know. But I think the fireflies, they can just... They can, like, make effect anywhere you place them. Is that right? So hopefully, I can get some lovely little firefly moments coming in down here as well. Just for ambiance. We're going to concentrate on lighting now. We're going to concentrate on some lighting. I'm thinking with this wall as well. I think I'm going to wall this up with the rocks too. Just so we haven't got that bare wall there. Because it just looks a little bit weird to me. Um, and also, I want to do something with this floor too. But I want to play a test this first before I put anything on the floor. Just in case um yeah just in case just just in case it doesn't work i'm a little bit worried that it's not going to work but it should be all right give it a go we'll give it a go now so i want some of the special effect things they were from get together no get famous correction um and i'm thinking i don't know where they are let me find them okay i found them and i'm sure we can have bubbles from these can't we I'm sure we can. So I'm going to try and flitter in a little bit of bubbleage, bubbleage here and there. I want to try and hide them. Because maybe Caspian's like said that this is a miracle, miracle cave. When really he's just installed a special effects machine just to help his, you know, um, culty ways. Even though it's not a cult. Just, just come through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Now, lighting wise, I want to get rid of this spotlight now because I do want some moody lighting down here as well, which we're going to do. I'm going to probably go off camera, play a test it and get like someone down here just to see how it works. Um, And I want to play around with the lighting and see how the fireflies kind of react as well. Um, So let's do that. Lighting wise, we're probably going to have to go for some kind of outdoor um, ambient lighting. And I'm thinking the one that kind of like this. Is it this one? that? Oh, no, it's this one that kind of like shines off the rocks. Oh, it does as well. I was scared it wasn't going to reflect then, but it does. If I can use these, but maybe hide them with a rock as well. And then we can change the color of them too. Can I get any over here? I don't think I can. I probably can here though. Shine, shine, can you go? Oh god, I hate rotating things in The Sims. Anybody the same? Because I am. Uh, and I'll flop that one up there. And the same over here as well. Hopefully I can hide these away with rocks. I should be able to. And we're probably going to change them for like greeny and blue lighting down here. Um, Let's hope that that will work. So, as I said, let me play a test this just to see how it works, how it looks um, in game. Guys, it works. I had to do something though. Silly me. I have to do a little small platform here with a ladder so Caspian could get down here. He's got his clothes off. For goodness sake, Caspian. Goodness sake. But I think this is a good start for the cave. <laughs> I think this is a good start for the cave. There are several things I need to do down here detail wise. That rock's gone a bit of a weird colour. We'll sort that out as well. But... I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay with this. But I just think that's a nice little vibe we've got going on there. So after that debacle, we are back with me. Today's Aiden. We are live on Channel 4. Please do not say fuck or bugger. Now, 
I haven't finished this. We've kind of made a start on it. I'm still not completely happy with it. Um, I've put like a soft box there at the minute to light this up. But I'm not 100% happy with that at the minute. I still want to put rocks up on this face here like we said we were going to. I think I said that. I want to put a bit more detail out here as well. I just want to, I just want to perfect this. But we'll do that for next week. So once next week comes. Um, today we're going to concentrate just on the... Uh, fizzing area the fizzing station where they do all of their juicing i think i'm going to use two two juicing machines i think they're called fizzing machines uh i think we're going to use two of these let me get my quarter tile placement on um i just think this would be the perfect sized room for it we do need however need a door to get into this perfect sized room i feel all out of sorts today loves <laughs> after yesterday I was pissed off I was it took me ages to try and figure out what went wrong and it was just because I didn't have any internet <laughs> so my recording software just went bloop and yeah ta-da but we're back we're back me fresh hair lovely I go to um my next vlogging trip tomorrow as well which is why everything's up in the air this week too um so be on the looks out for that that will probably be sorry I just banged my mic um, that will probably be coming on the Tuesday. It's going to be my next vlogging adventure. So I'll see you then. Um, but don't forget, I do have a speed build coming up tomorrow um, as well, which is really nice. I'm trying to find a door. Let me find one. I'm just going to use the same doors we've been using upstairs. The kind of like medieval-esque ones. We're going to flop these in. This is going to be... Oh, maybe we should do a, like a lab door here though. Just so there's like an... End. Yes, let's do that. What we're going to do... We're going to do something. Let me get rid of this. I think... Ignore the spotlights as well. They're not going to stay, obviously. Uh, no, you can't go there. You can go there, though. And then let's paint you to there. Why have you disappeared from there now? Oh, it's because I did that wall. Oh, uh, for goodness sake. Uh, if I could flop you to there like that. Flop you in there. Beautiful. Stunning. Cover girl. Here for it. And then grab another one of these doors. So we've got a medieval entry to there. And then I want to do like a a scientific door there. It's almost making me want to like rejig this around a bit. Like flop that to there and pull that down to there maybe. Let me see this. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yep, that does what I need it to. And then what this can do then is go to there. We'll flop. Oh, no, that's been painted. Stunning. And then we'll get in a little... Uh, science door there. I think the one from Get to Work, which has got the little kind of key card entry. I think we'll do this one. Uh, and this is for our lovely scientist to come in and do all of his um, experiments and stuff on. Uh, but yes, lovely. Stunning. Here we are. Right. Okay. So, got juicing stations. I'm going to put one there, one there. I've pulled out an array of things as well. And I think what I'm going to do is probably store them on those shelves that came with was it get to work i think it might have been get to work these ones the, yeah it was from get to work yeah i think these would work haha <laughs> i'm a poet and i didn't even know it i think i'm going to use these to kind of act as a storage space for them um it would be nice if i could like put two on top of each other i wonder if we can do that just so it looks like they've got like a nice big bit of storage in it. Oh, that does work. But questions. Will we be able to... Oh, we can store stuff on top of them. Even when it's off the floor. Oh, stunning. Yeah, we'll do that as well then. Beautiful. Right, and this over to the other side. This over to the other side. Uh, and we'll flop you to here. Flop you to here. Uh, hope you've been all right. I feel like I haven't speak, spoke to you. Even though you probably uh, feel like you have spoke to me. Because you just saw yesterday's me. <laughs> But I don't feel like I've spoke to you today. So I'm asking if you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. I haven't seen you for ages, loves. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> uh, bloody hell. What we like. Tell you what we like. Silly bums. Absolute silly bums. Right, let's do some of these down here. Oh, God. They're all going to flop. Let me get all of these situated first. Do we have one in the middle there? No. I don't understand the placements of these. Very strange. Uh, those are kombucha. Let's get some of these as well. So they sell these at markets and stuff. There's no... Why is there no snap point there? And the, Oh, God. There's no snap point there, but I will make sure to get that green one above it. Inspired fizzy juice. You can go there. No in the middle. Okay. And is that the inspired? Yep. So let's get rid of it. So I know what I've used. 
We've got the playful fizzy juice. And uh, oh, now you want to go there, do you? Do you? Well, you're not. You are there. There we are. <laughs> so there's only one snap point above here. God, it's very strange. Um, yeah, let me load these up because that's what I want to do. But I'm definitely going to have to use that CC shelf to be able to put stuff stuff up on these properly. So give me two secs. Okay, I felt like I was working at bloody Tesco then, stacking all those shelves, Charlotte. I really did. But we stacked them up. I fitted in two more as well, just we can put some seltzers and some kombuchas as well. Now, I've not fully stacked them because I think it would be nice for gameplay for you to come down here and make your own juices. That sounds disgusting. But I'm going for it. I'm absolutely going for it. Now, I want to make this place look a little bit more industrial, I think, down in this area. Um... So by use of some pipes, pipes and things, I think that's what I'm going to do. I might even use that fan that we had. Oh, excuse me. That fan, what we had with, was it? We'll get to work. I think it was that industrial fan. So it kind of looks like it kind of draws air out from here. I think we're going to do that. I do. I think we're going to do it. And I might even put in some of those ceiling vents as well. Um, That came with what pack did that come with? No idea, but we'll find it. We shall find it together. Um, now, so what we need to do is we need to go into get to work. We need to go into decorations. Is it in wall decorations, that big fanny? <laughs> Not fanny. Not fanny. That means very, very naughty things on both sides of the pond, doesn't it, darlings? Um, yeah, we'll flop you in as well. But I think we'll just go for a nice grey. We've got something that kind of like looks a bit more industrial. Drawing out all the naughty fumes that you can't have down here. I'm into it. I'm going to change the lighting now as well while we're here. And I have get to work um, filtered. So these were the lights that I thought would work well in this room. This one here. Not in this colour, obviously. I'm going to get rid of that colour. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Wade, and that looks a bit like a dungeon now, darling, doesn't it? There we go. That's a bit better. I kept the spotlight. I kept the spotlight, but I just changed the um the dimness, the brightness, even sorry, um just so it kind of like yeah, just lights the place up a little bit, but not too much, you know. I may even do another one, another one, another one of these on this side. Um, just above the fizzing stations. And I might even put those pipes over here as well. Just so it kind of like... Oh, maybe not those. Maybe the wall ones. Because we haven't got room for them ones. Um, just so again, it kind of looks a little bit more industrial. Now, what I really want to do... What I really, really want to do... Is use a bit of this, I think, down here. Just by where the fizzing stations are. Just to kind of act like... Yeah, just to make it look like they've been in use... They've been in use, um, but they haven't been kind of like cleaned properly when they should be because this is a cult that is not a cult and they're very clean. The cleanliness, cleanliness, maybe with like an industrial drain in here as well. Now, didn't we have, oh, let me see if, oh, no, it was, was it the Star Wars pack? Yes, it was the Star Wars pack that had these like drains in them. Oh, there's a bit of a weird color. Do we have any? Oh, that's better. Oh, yes, that's better. And then I'm going to put a couple of these. Maybe like, I might even size them down again. Do one there. Perfect. And put another one there as well. So when they do come to cleanse and clean this place, which is not done very often, um, they can just tip all of the, the naughtiness down these drains here. Yep, stunning. Now, what I also wanted to do, and I'm... Thinking, I don't know where I'm going to be able to put this. I might be able to put it here with a smaller desk. It's like a place where they could come and do kind of like inventory check. You know, I'm all for a bit of inventory check. So maybe just one of the singular desks would work well in here. Desks. It's like crisps. I always find that word weird to say. I really do. Desks. <laughs> I bet there was at least one person out there that just went desks. <laughs> oh, that does fit. I'm just worried that it's not going to... Oh, no, that should be okay. That should be fine. Oh, perfect desk as well. Not the colour, though. We need to darken that down. Oh, it doesn't really darken down. 
Oh, we'll go for that one instead then. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. With a little laptop. Oh, no, maybe something a bit more like that would work in here. With a kind of like wheelie, sort of like science looking. I'm saying science. I mean office. Office looking chair. Yeah. Yeah, I think that should suffice quite nicely. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into it. What I'm going to do is just finish off this room with some of those grunge splatels, whatever they're called, splack, splack, cartel. <laughs> no idea. Absolutely no idea what I'm saying. But I think these would really work. Yeah. And then I'll do the other one just on the corner, like around there. Yes. Oh, yes. We got ourselves a juicing room, loves. It's a room to come down in and get juicy. It really is. It really is. Yeah, cool. Cool. So as I said, next time we'll be back. We're going to finish it. I'm going to do a bit off of camera. I'm going to rejig this area out a little bit here. I'm not a fan of this. Um, so I'm going to work out something to do down here. I think we need like a toilet and stuff down here as well. Um, we're going to do the laboratory together. We're going to do that room together. And I'm going to do a couple of these. I need to also look. The stones are coming through this floor here um i'm going to furnish these got these rooms up with some of your guys ideas as well but that will be it for this build um and i'm quite glad i am i did enjoy doing this it's been funny i just want to get to a nice home now <laughs> like a family home not a culty castle you know i can't be dealing with it but anyway thank you so much for watching sorry about the lack of videos this week um i'll be back on form next week thank you and I will be back tomorrow as well with a speed build. I'm also live on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. GMT. We're playing some um, It Takes Two. Um, such a great game. Having so much fun with it. If you do want to come and join us, I'll be there. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow.